I don't count anything. I don't count calories. I don't count macros. Mm. So a lot of you have been requesting more healthy food vlogs, especially what healthy food I eat coming from a Chinese family. And you guys are also interested how to get back on track with your diet plan after going on some vacations like this girl last week, go to Taipei for one week, eat all the food without me. Thank you Squarespace! Oh. We want to thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video and we'll give you guys a bit more info at the end of the video. This whole week I'm eating healthier and getting back on track with like my workouts and just try to eat less cheap meals. And this is because in one week time, we are going on a beach holiday to Fiji. So gotta get the bikini body ready. And then obviously in Fiji is a vacation. I'll be just... But you heard something. No, I don't, I'm not sure. Don't open it. But you heard not. I heard something. I don't know what it was. Is there something like a ghost or something? No. Like there's always sounds over there. Huh? Maybe it was from oh, okay, okay, upstairs okay. and do... Dude, so if anything really happened, Pachu would is caught on camera at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, mm. the point of this video is that this whole week I'm doing healthy eating, so I thought it's a perfect chance for me to vlog what I eat in a day. I eat healthy in my day as well. I've started my new routine of only eating fruit in the morning. Do they wanna know? <laughs> yes! It's too much food. There's a lot of sugar. Yum, 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 yum. Morning, guys. So, I'm always starting with a glass of water. You guys know that I don't drink coffee, I don't drink tea. This morning for breakfast, kiwi, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, and purple sweet potato. And I'm also going to make myself a bowl of muesli. I'm super boring, I always use the same ingredients. So oat milk because I'm lactose intolerant and out of all the vegan milk choices, I think it tastes the best. And this muesli is just what my dad got from the supermarket. Hemp seeds and also white chia seeds. This is my whole breakfast. It's actually quite filling. Oatmeal is so good sometimes after dinner. If I feel like dessert and I don't want to go for the unhealthy options, I would actually go get myself a glass of oatmeal. I know that there are some of you who are new here, so I'll just quickly explain again the way I eat. I don't count anything, I don't count calories, I don't count macros. I try to eat relatively healthier home cooked food from Monday to Friday. On the weekend, I let myself eat whatever cheat meals I like. On Sunday, my body would already naturally crave healthy home cooked food again. So so intuitive eating is a lot about listening to your body and not to restrict yourself so much like how I used to during my bulimia eating disorder phase which was not healthy at all and not sustainable in the long term as well. For example, even this week I'm eating healthier but the other day after ooh, but the other day after lunch I felt like a yummy pineapple cake from Taiwan so I had it. It really doesn't matter if you allow yourself to have a cheat meal here and there and just let yourself enjoy food, enjoy life. The key is everything in moderation. Morning, Gigi. Did you sleep well? Did you sleep well, Gigi? Mm. It's time for lunch. I always eat the same thing from last night dinner. When I used to work in an office, I would use these containers to pack my lunch to work. Now that I'm a full-time YouTuber, I would just use the same plate that I use for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So a lot of you ask if it's for portion control. Actually, it's just because I claim this plate as mine at home. But now that I take photos to show you guys what I eat every day on my Instagram story, I do realize it does help with me knowing around how much food I'm eating every day. It's like my lunchbox one before, I would have carbs here, meat and protein here, and then this for vegetables. So with this plate, normally close to half of it is vegetables, and then the rest is a lot of protein. For example, today I'm having tempeh, red kidney beans, and lemongrass pork chop, some cucumber, and normally a small corner here, I'll also have carbs. For example, rice, quinoa, but today I'm having noodles and tomato and egg soup. But if the dishes are especially yummy that day, for example, I really like beef ribs, then even after I finish what I have on the plate, I'll normally get extra, which you guys don't really see on my Instagram story. Gigi, you did a lunch, yeah, lunch, Gigi. Hey, yeah. I'm so excited. Hello, Gigi. Mm. 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 Mm.
everything tastes so good for example even this tomato and egg soup it's so yummy my dad made it himself and a lot of you also always ask about my food combo so for example why am i eating pork chop together with veggies and noodles is it healthier to eat like this honestly we don't really think that much like my parents just see what's good in the market they buy at home and every day from the fridge they see what they want to make oh it smells so good look at the color guys wow. Okay, so now it's time for afternoon snack before my workout. My favorite beetroot soup. It is so good. The first time my dad made it was I think last year and the first time I tried it, I thought it was unbelievable that beetroot soup can taste so sweet and so good. Sometimes they also add tomatoes. Mm. A lot of you have actually asked for a recipe on my Instagram story so I'm actually planning to film it together with my dad maybe next month so stay tuned on that It's actually quite filling and really good for midday when you're hungry and for me it's like 2 hours away from my workout later I don't want to be feeling really hungry when I do my workout so perfect Time of the day after shower must time. It's dinner time. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. Tonight, oh look at all the yummy dishes. Hey, my hair should go here. Yeah, hey, yeah. So tonight for dinner we're having beans with minced pork, fish with red bell peppers, egg with tomato, and rice with a bit of quinoa. Oh my god. But apart from this vlog, you guys can actually see what I eat every day, every single meal on my Instagram story. Upload everything. Yeah. And thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Basically, it gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform to create your website. Whether you're starting a new business, changing careers, or launching a new project. Why are you popping me? What? What the fuck? You're not doing that. <laughs> you're doing that too? It's an all-in-one platform for you to create a website or even online store with award-winning templates. And there is nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Plus, the best thing is that there is 24-7 customer support so you can get all the help you need. You can go to squarespace.com slash to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. So stay tuned for our Fiji vlog. And we'll see you guys soon.